Breaking news. Nigerian army warns against planned protests in Jos over the killing of 22 Fulani headsmen. Hello, my wonderful people. This is really, I can't believe that Nigerian government is really taking this, you know, the way they are. Really and sincerely speaking, this is the way it should be for everybody. But over and over again, we have seen Nigerian government neglect and, I mean, do not care, show an and I don't care attitude towards other Nigerians. But since this issue occurred, which is unpleasant in Joss, where 22 uh, Fulani headsmen were, were killed, it has been one to the other and it has not stopped. And people are really wondering, really sincerely speaking, so the federal government can take things this seriously, can rise up to the occasion and can really, you know, ask for a better, you know, life for everybody and insist that people do not take laws into their hands is really very surprising. Now, Nigerian army is trying to, they, they are calling on Nigerian army that some persons are planning protests in Joss. And you know what that could lead to? It could lead to an outlaw where things could go really, really bad. You know, when there was protest in the southwest, we know how Nigerian army were ready. When the last uh, 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 rally of uh, Yoruba nation, we saw what happened. We saw what happened. So let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Nigerian army warns against planned protest in just over killing of 22 Muslim. The Nigerian army on Tuesday warned Muslim communities and those calling for protests in just over the killing of 22 Fulani headsmen traveling on Saturday, August the 14th, 2021. Recall that there has been a mass message circulating on social media calling on Muslims to embark on a protest over the 22 killing of the Fulani headsmen travelers in Jos. Reacting on Tuesday, Major Isiak Tanwa, Military Information Officer Operation Safe Haven said the attention of Operation Safe Haven has been drawn to a message circulating on social media calling on Muslim youths to embark on a protest slated for that's today, Wednesday, Wednesday, 18th August 2021. According to him, the message purposely stated that the demonstration is accepted, is expected to commence from Ma. Masali Juna to Plateau State House of Assembly Complex. He said OPSH is sending a strong warning to those planning this demonstration. If it is true and the organizers or the orchestrators of this message to have a rethink, adding that a 24-hour curfew has been imposed by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Plateau State, Right Honorable Simeon, Lago on just north local government area and 12 hour curfew on just south and Bessie local government area is still in place and we are fully deployed to ensure it is enforced. Why OPSH will not want to join issues with the organizers of the planned protests? It is instru instrumentative to the state that the view of the target and the fragile nature of peace in Plateau State right now, this protest is unnecessary and uncalled for. The statement further added that the army is aware that Muslim clergy and leaders have distanced themselves from the planned message circulating and not in support of any kind of protest or demonstration, adding that OPSH will not allow anybody or group to bridge the fragile peace condition in the metropolis. We know that some Muslims have been circulating message to ask the youth to come out en masse. So my people, this is what is happening. Message is going out, going out in Jos, and people are saying, my people, this is what is happening. Uh, the protest has already been planned, and um, you know they are saying it's not as if they cannot carry out protests. Like, again, when you look at it, it's is it two different country that we are in? We must ask ourselves this question. In the south, they say no protest is allowed, no uh, peaceful demonstration is allowed. Have you heard of any demonstration of late? The answer is no. We saw what they did to Amuteko. Uh, I, I, I've said Amuteko. Yoruba nation, uh, you know, those that came out for a peaceful rally. We saw what, what, what they did. 
They even arrested some, tried to pin murder case on some, and what have you, all in a bid to have their own said say. But the truth of the matter is, we cannot continue to, you know, to, 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 to put this kind of evil conditions around us and around the people around us. It's wrong. What is wrong is wrong. There is no other name for it. When it's wrong, it is wrong. And that's why people must rise up to the truth of the occasions of what is on ground today. Some young men, are, you know, uh, according to the news, are circulating message that the protest is ready. They are going to do a peaceful protest, but we know it's not going to end peacefully. When Fulani headsmen are afflicted, we see what happened. But when things are happening, people are dying, nobody says anything. This is what happened in Nigeria. Welcome to Nigeria. This is what goes on. And everybody's watching. Everybody's looking at this, all this evil going on. What is good for A is not good for B in a country called Nigeria. What is good for A is not good for B. So the army is telling the people to be ready and to get prepared uh, that they will not allow uh, that there is a very fragile, uh, peaceful environment now in Jos, and they will not want you know the, 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 the conditions already on ground to be to be tampered with. So everybody should you know be careful and not come out in any form of protest or what have you. So these are the things ongoing, and we thought to keep you intimated with the informations happening right now. Listen, guys. It is important, it is expedient that we all rise up to the occasion and say the truth. The president of the country has not shown fairness, truth, or oneness. Things are happening, he keeps quiet and do not say things, you know, whatever has happened in some other region is as though it's their business. But when it happens in another region, especially to Fulani headsmen, his cohorts, his brothers, then you see the president flex into action. It ought not to be so. It ought not to be so. There is supposed to be. When you look at it, the presidency, the government is part and parcel of the disunity we are experiencing in Nigeria. President Muhammad Buhari has not shown to Nigerians that he is a man who truly and really wants unity in Nigeria. He is the very sectionist by his own attitude and by the way things have gone. Buhari is the real sectionist in this country. Anyway, if you are in just area, don't come out for any kind of protest because the army are ready uh, just to keep you informed. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, keep, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Please do let it count. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.